hello guys welcome back to another tutorial with me and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can create a j icon in coral draw in just a few steps if you've not subscribed to my channel please can you click on the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to turn on post notification so you receive notification whenever i drop a new video without further ado let's get started so first things first i'll click on file then click on new um set it to rgb um then custom size 1920 by 1080 pixels so um uh, that's what we'll be using and set the resolution to 300 then after everything i'll just click ok um now coral draw opens uh, a new window that we just created um the first thing i'll do is i'll double click on the rectangle to to make a replica of the shape inside of it so i'll just double click uh, as you can see it has made uh, a replica of this shape so i'll just give it white for now and remove the outline moving on ahead uh, moving ahead the first uh, thing we do is uh, you call up uh, your ellipse to just select it like this I'm hold down the control key uh, so you draw proportionally and i'll just uh, drag and drop like this i'll press p on my keyboard to make sure that it's centralized in the middle of the page after that it's been done i would uh, make a copy of this so i would copy ctrl c and uh, ctrl v to paste so i'll just put this uh somewhere i'll make it smaller don't worry guys i'll show you what to do with this later on so i'll just put it to the side here and uh, the next thing we'll be doing is um I'll call up my rectangle tool, just click on it and uh, drag uh, and make sure it's at the middle of, um, I'll zoom out, extend a little bit, uh, make sure it's at the middle like this. Um, I think I'm okay with it somewhere here. I'll reduce this a bit so it isn't too much. Um, just to be sure, uh, just to make sure that it's at the center of the page, I'll press P, selecting the rectangle tool, I'll press P on the keyboard. So, as you can see, guys, it's centered with this ellipse, with this circle. Um, after I've done that, I'll select this rectangle, I'll click inside. As you can notice at the edge, there's these arrows. Um, there's one here, one here, one here, one here. You can use this arrow to actually flip and you can use this arrow to skew. But I won't be using this one on top. I'll be using this one at the side. As you can see, when my when my cursor hits that point, um, it turns to a two-way arrow. Select this one here, then drag and right-click. Dragging and right-click makes another copy. So because I've done this step now, I'll just press Ctrl R on the keyboard to make um, copies of it then after i'm done with everything i would select um, everything put the ellipse and the rectangle i just made out uh, then i'll click on weld so after i click on weld this is just like um the first phase so the next thing we'll do is um this um circle we uh, drew the other time so i'll just put it at the middle of this so because this is at the middle of the page so i'll just press select this and uh, press p on my keyboard to center it to the center of the page so i'll just reduce this a bit and i think i'm cool with it at this level i'll select this i'll select this and i'll press uh click on uh this button here that says string so it has string this so i'll just delete uh this and uh I'll get rid of this so guys uh this uh is a j icon this is how you can create a, a j icon in coral draw so i'll just reduce this a bit um uh reduce this a bit and i'll uh, give it uh this color by selecting the yellow so i would click then um i just want to spice this up a bit so so the next thing I'll do is I'll head over to my interactive field. The shortcut is G. So I'll just um, I'll just draw out like this on the shape. 
um, selecting this white point, I will just give it uh, the orange color here. And I think I'm cool with this. I would uh, then remove the outline and make this background, this one, great at first. I'll make it black. And I would uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make copies of this. I'll reduce this, put this here, and uh, Ctrl C and Ctrl V again to make another copy of this. This time I'll make this smaller and I'll place it here. Selecting everything, I would uh, hold down shift, make it smaller. It's quite big. And um, so, guys, this is how um, you create uh, the J icon in Coral Draw. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.